Oh, mother truckers, what is cracking today? As you can tell by the title, we're building another dip tower, mother truckers. The art of building a dip tower. It's gonna be sick as tits. Like I always say, sick as dicks. I mean tits, sorry, tits, tits, tits. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're building a dip tower. We're not just building a dip tower, we're building a couple other things too, and that is why I'm making this video. I always like to make videos when I'm building the dip tower because I like to give you guys the full experience of what we're freaking doing. So this might be a you know, quite a long video. We're gonna be doing a time last of the tower going up and all that other crap. But, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I think it's almost time for a dip. But before I do that, we are live on my second channel, Live the Thrill TV Outlaw Dipper second channel right now. And we are, you know, we're having a little bit of fun on a Friday. Today's Friday, you know, we're just hanging out all day. We're going live. I'm, I'm doing this whole live show live. So if you missed the live show, apologize. But you're watching this now, so you're going to see everything that's going on. At this point right now, uh, like I said in the live show, what we're doing is... This is building the dip tower. Here's all the dip cans. We got three freaking big ass trash bags of dip cans here. But we got two tables right here that we are, uh, that we've built on before. And you know what I said? That's not enough. That's only like nine feet across. This whole wall that the dip tower is going on right here in my office is about 12 feet, okay? So what we're doing is I like, you know what, I need another table. And that's what that mother trucker is right now. We're building that mother trucker on the live show, and we are freaking getting this shit done. So we're going to have three tables, which is going to reach about 10 feet across this 12-foot wall. And that's, that's not exact measurements. That's just me guessing, guesstimating right now. And uh, you see a little Copenhagen sign, I'll let you. But that's what we're going to be doing, okay? So we're on the freaking live show. We're building the table. We're almost done. You know, I'm probably boring people on this live show. But we're sitting here. People are freaking, uh, you know, commenting in and all this kind of crap, and, um, you know, so, if you were in the live show, you can see yourself here, and, uh, uh, all that kind of freaking crap, so, thanks for coming into the live show, y'all, it's freaking sick as tits, um, you know, got a couple hundred people in here, shit, so, yeah, it's gonna be sick as tits, I don't know how many times I gotta freaking say that, but, uh, one other thing is we have to, uh, um, when we start building this dip tower and stuff like that, last time we built it, it was like double stacked. Like it, it was too high. Sorry, I'm freaking text messages going off. Just unprofessional as tits right now. Um, but what's going on is, you know, last time I built it, you know, because I've had like three dip tower building videos, right? You know, the dip tower was so high, this roof is a lot lower, okay? So we're going to have to go wider. Like I said, that's why we're doing two uh, two things. And I don't want to go double stack before. Double stack meaning one in back, one in front. It doesn't look as big, but uh, if you look at it by the side, it's a lot bigger. So I don't want to do that. I want full force effect in the front, one layer going across. It's going to be wide as tits, wider than my four-inch wiener. I like to call it the angry inch sometimes, you know, when it's soft. That was inappropriate. That was so inappropriate. I apologize, y'all. Apologize. Lord, please, God of dip, uh, please forgive me for my sins. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. All right, y'all. Wits! This freaking table is set up and all that other crap. We are going to be moving that shit over there, dumping out these dip cans. We might do a freaking little dip angel, and we're going to be going crazy, y'all. Let's build this mother trucker up, and I will show y'all the art of building a dip tower. Woo! Backwards badass, that is what they call me. O-U-T, L-A dub, that is what they call me. King of the woods, pick from the sticks, that is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw, that is what they call me. Backwards badass. Ass, that is what they call me. O U T L A Dub. That is what they call me. King of the woods, hit from the sticks. That is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw. That is what they call me. And the table is officially built. Look at the, look at the, look at the craftsmanship, y'all. Yep, built it by hand. Yep, uh huh. Made in China, freaking a, y'all. Actually, it's made in Ohio. Believe it or not. You believe it? You believe it? Something like that made in Ohio. All right. Manufactured, at least. Mm. All right. And they call it manufacturing, but I had to manufacture the motherfucker. What? The tits. All right. So we got the table set up. That means we have three tables officially in the office, and we're ready to freaking go. Okay? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn off the camera. By the way, I got a lip in. Upper Decker. All right. Upper Decker. A Copenhagen Wintergreen. Cause you know when we're doing this shit, we gotta be dipping. 
Apologize, I didn't freaking show me, but, you know, this is going to be a long-ass fucking process, so we're going to be throwing in lips all day freaking long, okay? Still doing the live show here. We got that motherfucker on there. Hey, you can see yourself. You can see yourself, huh? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what we're going to be doing... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, how to spit. Legic, 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 that come. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to set the tables up here. All right, I'm going to move these trash bags over, and then I'm going to set up the camera, and we are going to dip, or we're going we're gonna to take all the dip cans out of here, and we're going to dump them all onto the freaking floor into a humongous pile, and we are going to do the biggest dip angel of all time, all right? And then, you know we are in Kentucky, so Kentucky, get ready. This might be on the news because I am about to freaking start. A gosh dang Kentucky freaking earthquake dumping these mother truckers out. So get ready for that. Here we freaking go. All right, mother truckers. So we got that table set up and everything is done. And this is where the tower is going to be. As you can see, we only got about freaking maybe a foot on that side and like freaking a couple inches over there. So it's going to cover the entire wall pretty much. I want to give a little bit of space over here, you know, to fit a lamp if I need to um, and things like that. What the frickin' tits is this? Looks like I'm gonna have to take that out of the wall. I don't even know why that's in there. It's all like, or maybe screw it in a little more, I don't know. That's, that's frickin' weird. Anyways, I, you know, this is called the art of building a dip tower, so I wanna make sure if you guys are ever building a dip tower and you ever get with your buddies and, you know, put all your cans together and make a nice backdrop like this, you gotta make sure, as you can see right here, you know, there's a little space and things like that, you gotta make sure, you know, cause this wall, you know, this isn't drywall, this is like particle board and shit, and there's these little grooves and stuff like that, so that doesn't help. So, if you can avoid doing it on a wall like this, which I really can't, because the whole house is like this, um, you know, you try to avoid that. But, you have to make sure that the table and the surface that you're doing it on is flush every single, every single on every single place, okay? See right here, there's a little bit of a lip, so you gotta, you know, move your table around and freaking make sure that, you know that everything is going to be flush once you put cans on it and stuff like that. So, you know, you got to make sure it's flush like that. Over here, there's a tiny bit of a space because there's a little uh, phone jack in the wall down here. But, uh, you know, the space doesn't matter as much as it is flush because, you know, cans will, you know, stay and the tables will stay once there's a lot of weight on them and stuff like that. So, you got to make sure there's a lot of freaking, you know, a lot of flushicity, a flushicity of things going on and uh you know you got shit freaking good so this is about 10 feet across i don't know exactly i don't have my tape measure or anything like that but we're gonna see how many cans we're gonna get across here but right now i think that we are going to dump out all the dip cans onto the freaking floor this is going to cause an earthquake a dip quake for 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 for, for, for uh for, for shizzle so, let's freaking set the camera up and let's do that, mother truckers. All right, mother truckers, we are about to freaking dump these mother trucking cans right now. And we're about to cause a freaking dip quake up in this bitch. You guys ready for this or what? Here we freaking go. We got the trash bags right here. I got an angle, somewhat. I might have freaking, uh, you know, put the camera up a little more so we can get a wider angle. But we're going to try this out, and hopefully we can have the biggest dip angel of all time, and we can get it the dip, dip, get us book of world records, mother truckers. Let's try it. All right. Here we go. First bag about to be fucking dumped. Oh. Oh. oh, shit, that was loud. Thank God I don't have any neighbors. Woo. The dim cows are probably shitting themselves right now, literally. Okay, that was one bag. Good Lord Almighty. Make sure we're freaking empty. Is this bag empty? One bag down! Two to go! There we go. Put some skull peach. I don't know, but I've been told dipping skull peach tastes like mold. Woo! All right, you guys ready for this? Man, it smells like dip up in this son of a bitch. Here we go. Third bag. Last one. About to be fucking dumped. Get ready for an earthquake, mother truckers! Oh my god. Oh. Good lord. This 
thing is literally up to my knees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen, I gotta take an Instagram picture of this shit. Holy shit. God damn. Oh my, God. guys, do you see the girth of this? Oh man, I'm seeing so many dip cans from the past. Oh shit. I almost fell in. I almost fell into the dip pile. Got to Instagram that shit, y'all. Look at the girth. Woohoo! We just dumped about 3,000 dip cans onto my floor. And it cannot be a dip tower build without, once you dump all your cans on the floor, and it cannot be a dump, get the, a dip tower build without doing a freaking dip angel. There is snow outside, but you know what? There's dip cans inside. And that means we gotta do a dip angel. Let's do it, mother truckers! Woohoo! Oh, dip angel! Dip angel! <laughs> oh, that fucking hurt. I got a dip can in my ass, y'all. Ow! Son of a tip monkey! Oh, that was worse than taking a back bump in a wrestling rig. God damn! All right, you silly sons of bitches. You see, we got all the freaking dip cans just scattered across the freaking floor. Thousands and thousands of dip cans, and my ass freaking hurts. I got like a freaking can. Oh man! Oh, 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 no! Oh. God, oh, Kodiak's been on my freaking. Gosh dang it! Kind of felt good when I was coming out. <laughs> all right, anyway, guys, uh, we got all the dip cans here, and this is where we're going to be building it, of course. So, you guys want to be asking, how the hell are you guys going to build it, or how the hell are you going to build this, and all this kind of crap. So, let me show you. We are going to be doing it all across the line up here, and everything else in front. We're not going to double stack it like this time, but we are going to have it very wide. So, it's not going to be as high, and it's not going to go all the way to the ceiling. Um, so, it's going to be very wide. We're going to be fitting freaking a lot of cans across, you know. So, but what we're going to do, I don't know how many yet, and I'm going to come back to you we're going to be doing a, a, a time lapse of the whole tower going up, so don't worry about that. But we're going to come back to you in a minute, and I'm going to see how many cans fit across here. But the first row, every single row is going to be 10 cans high. So we're going to do 10 cans high on each row, and then, uh, and then go up from there, and it's going to be pyramid style like usual, okay? Hopefully, i got to freaking see what the fuck this is going. We're going to do, you know, the first row and then a second one and see if it's stable and, and things like that. we got to be very careful when you're building a dip tower, especially this big on a massive scale, because you don't want to just build it and then freaking have it be not sturdy whatsoever, and then it falls on your ass when you're sleeping or freaking something like that, which has happened to me before. So, all these mother trucker cans, are just sitting here waiting to be put up and they're disorganized as hell so we got to get that son of a bitch freaking figured out all right i'm going to set up the camera now put on the tripod we're going to do a little time lapse and we'll come back at you with the dimensions of what we're doing here across let's throw in another dip it's two o'clock baby get your dip cans ready to start packing come on cheers dips with me right now dink cheers all right mother truckers we got the shit set up here but it's two o'clock, so you mother truckers at home watching this son bitch right now, get your freaking can, pack that son bitch. If you ain't grabbing your can, then you ain't a freaking man. Uh, you women out there, that doesn't count for you. But anyways, pack your freaking can. Time to pack them spit. Get some Copenhagen wintergreen in our lip. It is hot as a mother trucker in here today. Mmm. Mmm. Packing a little more. Mmm. Just a little killer filler. Don't want to freaking drop this in here because I'll lose track of this, bitch, so we gotta keep that out. Mmm. Much of the day, Confederate camo. Mmm. Ah, beautiful. So, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna freaking uh, do the first row, like I said, and we'll, uh, we'll see how many cans will go across. Keep my mudjug up here. Now, the art of building a dip tower. Now, let me, uh, talk to you guys real quick about here. The art of building a dip tower. I would get closer to the camera, but there's freaking a billion cans standing in my way. The art of building a dip tower. The first row is very important. And the very, not, not talking about the very first 10 cans high row. I'm talking about the very first row of just one can each. If you can, if you've ever dipped Red Seal before, those are the biggest cans. Okay, Red Seal uh, are bigger cans and they're wider than every, every other can. So Red Seal cans are a great foundation for dip cans. Other cans like Stokers that are a lot smaller, the Stokers cans are a lot smaller than some other cans. It's a couple ounces smaller, so you don't want to put those on the bottom whatsoever. But uh, if you don't have any Red Seal cans, make sure you do you know something like uh, like a Grizzly can, uh, uh, a plastic Grizzly can, or something like that, or a, or, or a full tin like a cam, an old Camel can, or something like that. 
that's full tin because you want to have something that's very good for uh, for your foundation. So first recommendation is red seal. So I'm going to try to dig some red seal cans out of here and things like that. But for right now, I'm just going to try to find as many cans as we can to uh, fit across here. So red seal cans are probably the best for doing uh, you know your first row for a great foundation. So that's one tip from me to you. All right, let's freaking do this, mother truckers. Mm. You know what? You should play a drinking game when you freaking watch my videos. Every time I say drinking or mother trucker, you should have to take a freaking drink of beer or something like that. Because I say it way too much. I annoy myself whenever I freaking, you know, when I do that shit. So I try to pick up some cans here, get some red seal. I have so many cans here, I can't really get some red seals, but, you know, we'll uh, try as best as we can to see how many. All right, guess at home. I want you to guess in the comments at home. Let me know. How many cans do you think are going to be across here? Let me know until the clip switches and you guys already know. But freaking leave a comment right now and let me know what you guys think. I'll say 45. That's what I'm going to say. 45, all right? Let's start doing it. Keep it up, going. 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 cans across ladies and gentlemen that is 40 cans across and like I said we are going 10 high just the very first row is gonna have 400 cans in the very first row that is a record high ladies and gentlemen good freaking oh god almighty the dip god is probably praising the shit out of me right now I'll take your praise dip god I'll take it we're gonna anchor in that son bitch god damn well, we met her at a bar, we met her in her car Everything was good until my buzz went afar I looked in her face, and what did I see? She looked like a cow all the way from Tennessee I hopped in my truck, and even blew some chunks I couldn't believe what I'd done just done Almost made love to s- Whoa, was that R2-D2? What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about your days later, I was itching for some fun I would go to church and maybe pick up a nun But that didn't happen, cause you know who was there From my looks, you say that I'm a hick. You think that I get mad, but now that's just my stick. Boots on camouflage, this is what I wear. With a huge stare, they look at what I wear. They say that's outlaw, and he don't freaking care. Country girls on me while I'm at the county fair. Born in a trailer in the middle of the woods, shooting whiskey, sipping shine ever since I could. Dip in my lip, a mud jug in my hand. Grits on my side like I'm in a freaking band. Outlaw, this is what I do. Walk up in these woods with a fat pinch of chew. Getting all muddy, playing in the freaking pig pen. Looking at me funny, and this is what I tell them. Backwards, badass. 
Nas, that is what they call me. O U T L A Dub, that is what they call me. King of the woods, pick from the sticks, that is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw, that is what they call me. Backwoods, badass, that is what they call me. O U T L A Dub, that is what they call me. King of the woods, pick from the sticks, that is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw, that is what they call me. I see a big buck standing on my land. I like to frickin' shoot him, but I don't think that I can. Um. Why you ask? Well, huh, cause I'm drunk! <laughs> it's a redneck nation that we live in, in Where we fry our fish and where we crack our tins Out on my dirt road I see a country chick I asked her on a date but then she kicked me in the dick All these yuppie bitches always jumping on my cock Always tell them no and then I shoot them with my right, block so, so, it's been quite a bit of work we got the uh, the three rows up right now, and you know we got a little bit of dim lighting going on here. We got the tower set up. Um, this is what we got left of the can. So it looks like you know we've been about halfway through and stuff like that. So we guys still got about you know maybe fifteen hundred cans, something like that. You know up here on the wall we have uh, probably a little over a thousand. <clears throat> so it's looking sick. It's going to be awesome. The time last will reconvene. Oh, we got this in a little bit away. But uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna. It's looking sick already. We got the dim lighting going up and everything like that. So it is going to be sick as tits for sure. Let me just look at this. Um, oh, oh, look, guys, look, it's Rosie. Oh my God, Rosie. <laughs> Hold on, let's get Rosie up here. Rosie. Oh, I missed you, Rosie. Gosh, oh man. Oh, I missed you, Rosie. I love you. Really? I want to be with you forever too, Rosie. But wait, you're not going to beg me all the way to move to your state and then right when I get here treat me like absolute shit, break every promise you ever made to me, break my heart when I've done nothing wrong, and actually treated you like a queen. Then on the day my pa dies, when I need someone, you actually say to me, but what about me? Start talking and texting other guys when you're on my phone plan and then start lying and denying everything, say a bunch of demeaning things to me, then brutally leave me with no apologies and decide to still leave your Twitter up with all the followers I got you and act like you did nothing wrong while whoring yourself out to dudes you think actually care about you but truthfully just want to fuck you and gain pity for yourself by trying to lie about the situation and see if all of my followers will pity you because I decided not to speak about the horrible situation that completely fucked up my life. Now you wouldn't do anything like that to me, would you, Rosie? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Outlaw, this is what I say Living this lifestyle every single day Getting all muddy, playing in my truck If you don't freaking like it, you can dick my suck Backwards badass, that is what they call me O-U-T, L-A dub, that is what they call me King of the woods, pick from the sticks, that is what they call me Outlaw, outlaw, that is what they call me Backwards badass, that is what they call me O-U-T, L-A dub, that is what they call me King of the woods, pick from the sticks, that is what they call me me. Outlaw, outlaw, that is what they call me. What you know about the country stuff? Mud balls, bullfrogs, hunting hops and bulldogs, camouflage and turkey calls. I live the good life, laid back woods life, swinging on a no jar shine, yeah that's right. I live country, I live good. What? I got a few acres sat back in the woods. A John Deere tractor, an open face barn. Huh? A Mossberg pump and a catfish pond. Long dirt roads, clear southern sky. When I ride at night, I'm looking for eyes. Big when I wake up, I head to the truck. I'ma load the box for the sun Find the sun, head out to the camp Find the fresh track Me and bottleneck about to bust one's ass Skin him on now, throw him on the grill I drink shine, take my feel good pills yep. Take the hot track oh. I'm dying I'm really dying What? In the tits. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh.
me. <sighs> Fuck! I'm pouting. I'm fucking pouting. I was just talking in the live show about how funny it would be once I get it all set up and it fucking falls. And it falls. <sighs> Fuck! As you've seen, the Div Tower fell. What I did was, well, I'm like a freaking angel right now. Face is all lit up. Uh, what I did, you know, I didn't film it because I was pissed. If you were in the live show, you saw. By the way, if you want to go check out the live show and see when it fell too, you can go see that for all the aftermath and live footage. But I built it back up to where, you know, it was falling at. Um, you know, I started building another row up there, and that's when it fell. I don't know why, maybe because of the floor is not sturdy and not even or something like that but I keep you know going back and forth with these people on the live show and they're giving me all different types of ideas as you can see we got some dip that freaking fell out of a can over here some old ass dip but um yeah so what I'm gonna do is uh, I decided I should probably be safe and not go anymore on the top um, you're not gonna be able to see that in the videos anyway so I'm thinking I'm gonna freaking build up the sides a little bit probably two or three rows on each side and just start building those up. It'll be safer. And then all the mud jugs and shit can be displayed in the middle. So, we'll do that. Hopefully this motherfucker doesn't fall. If it does, I'm going to shoot myself in the face. Apologize. Down by the creek, my mama needs bacon and she's bitching at me. We'll head to the bars when the sun goes down. Tear up the truck and get towed to the house. What you know about the country stuff? Mud balls, bullfrogs, hunting hops and bulldogs, camouflage and turkey cones. I live the good life. Country boy clean. I put a country swag on some old muddy jeans. Yeah, hell yeah, y'all. Let's all drink up. We'll head out to the woods and do some country boy stuff. That's right. Y'all can ride out, better lock in your hubs. Oh, bet your ass you'll be country boy stuff. I take a country boy pump for that country boy green. And now I'm so fly like a country crop plane. There's no one to blame. I'm set in my ways. I hunt big bucks and fish every day. Yeah, I say ma'am and I say sir. Yes, it's for everybody country all around. Around the world, it's the new mud fish on this country rap tip. Me and bottleneck straight killing the shit. We keep it country. Y'all, so there's a little finished product of that, and those are all the leftover cans we had that I uh, tried to put on the top there, but it didn't work out. Decided to fall on me. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, you know, I could just build this entire flat top table up with cans, you know, over the next, you know, few years or whatever. You know, just do that and slowly move the mud jugs to a different spot. The mud jugs are going to go here. We're going to set those up in a little bit. But now that we have all of the cans up on the tower officially, it's time to do a little bit of math and get our calculator out here on the phone. And we can uh, do some math. So what we got for the first row here is the very first row, not including these right here, or those that little stack of the Canadian tins over there. But we got... Uh, 40 cans across 10 high. So that's 400 in the first row. Minus one row, each one going up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So let's do that math right now. We got 400 plus 390 plus 380 plus 370 plus 360 plus 350 equals that's 2250 cans right up here okay now here we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 stacks of 10 oh Guys, my back's hurt I can't even talk right now uh, 22 stacks of 10s so that's 220 so plus 220 equals 2,470 plus 3 equals 2,473 and then we got a few over here blah blah blah. So anyways, 
All of this and plus I had to throw away, like I've thrown away a couple hundred cans due to uh, them, you know, breaking, smashing, whatever, and other things like that. So, you know, we got basically 2,500 cans right here with us and um, God, that's a lot of freaking cans, y'all, 2,500 cans, 2,500, almost, you know, heading its way to freaking three grand. Here we go, the massive girth of the frickin' dip tower being built. And, uh, you know, I can't even get it all in one shot. It's crazy up in this bitch. So, yeah, pretty nuts, y'all. Anyways, I'm gonna try to make it look pretty now. We're gonna put the mud jugs up and shit like that and see if we can make it look good and give you guys a final shot of this beautiful frickin' dip tower. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's all the mud jugs set up. All that crap. I got a few more to put up there and stuff because, you know, I got some laying out around the house and whatever. But uh, you guys will, you know, officially see everything completely done in the next video. But that is officially the end of building the dip tower. The freaking width of this thing is crazy. But at least we do have a nice backdrop now. The crazy thing about it is usually on my videos you'll see a, so a part of the wall on either side. This time you're not going to be able to see anything. It's just going to be, literally the camera's going to be here and that's all you're going to see. It's just cans and shit, which is fucking nuts. It looks photoshopped or something, doesn't it? So, it's pretty freaking crazy. We get the full wide angle of it and all that kind of crap. But, uh, guys, it was definitely, you know, we had... Uh, <laughs> we had our ups and downs building this thing and it was a uh, it was it was fun and it was and then it was pain in the ass at some point so anyways guys um like i said we were doing a live show the entire time almost eight hours of content i think it was like seven seven and a half hours of content that you guys can watch if you want to go to my second channel the link is in the description box and like almost eight hours of content is up there if you guys want to watch the entire live show there's two parts Google Plus kicked me off at uh, four hours at each point or whatever. So, but uh, yeah, y'all, it was uh, it was fun. <laughs> Thank you guys for for watching and you know sharing this video. Thumbs it up and uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Some sickest tits content with this sickest tits freaking background coming up shortly. You know what? Just one more thing to do. Give me one second. Febreze, mother trucker. That's right. <laughs> Spray the shit out of this son of a bitch. Oh my gosh! The thing frickin' reeks! Oh! Oh! Oh, excuse me. Oh man, now the dip tower's all wet and... But at least it smells better now! Good lord, I'm gonna get frickin' sick! Oh man! Thank God for Breeze. Thanks for sponsoring this video and paying me a million dollars! Thanks! No, I'm just kidding. They don't pay me shit! Alright y'all, my name is Outlaw. See you on the dip side! I hope you guys had fun watching me build this frickin' dip tower and other shit! And always remember... No matter what you're doing, build yourself a freaking dip tower and always keep it freaking hell, Billy! Ugh! Oh no, wait, guys, there's more. At exactly 3 a.m. in the morning, this happens again. Yep.